We're taking a look at the uh, grapevines today, and we're doing a little bit of work down here, trying to get uh, the ground and everything set up the way we like it. Um, back in the early spring, I did a pH test in the ground, and it was up around 6, 8 or so, and that was really on the top end uh, of where I want my pH. I'd love, I'd love to have it down uh, 6 or below with these particular grapes. So I treated them with uh, soil acidifier early in the spring, and then I... Today I went and got a bale of peat moss, and we're going to be working that into the ground on all three rows because we can also put in ten more Itascas. Uh, one of them's already dead. Um, the uh, <laughs> my dad was helping me mow, and and uh, I didn't have the grow tubes on some of them, and he didn't realize one of them was there and took it right off. So uh, not a problem. It's uh, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll, we can recover from that. That's not a big deal. But uh, anyways, uh, so we're down here. Uh, the ones from last year came through the win winter fabulous. And I, and I pruned them back down to the bottom cordon, trying to get down to where the cane or the trunk is about a pencil in diameter. Maybe that one's a little bit less than that. This one over here, really good. Got some good growth. All the buds are out on it. And uh, so the goal... If you see my other videos, the goal is to get the, the trunk up to the top cordon this year and then start training the cordon arms to come out because it's going to be a top cordon system. So the, the cordon is going to come out. I'm going to have some spurs coming off that cordon. And then off those spurs, we'll have two, two buds each year that will have new growth. And the new growth is where the grapes are going to come from. So this year, it's, it's getting everything kind of in position. Next year... Uh, we might get a few grapes um, that we might leave. Anything that buds this year and any type of fruit, we're going to tear off this year. Because I'm more interested in the plant than I am the fruit right now. So, uh, But like I said, these five came out really, really nice. You got some good growth. Uh, I'm also going to work on trying to get an irrigation system. Um, that way there, I don't have to worry about coming out. when It looks like we're going to have another drought this year. So I want to make sure that I can capture some rainwater when we do get rain. And then have that at my disposal and then having an irrigation system where I can kind of automate things. So um, the Itascas that we put in the ground, you can't see it, but they're actually already starting to bud. They've only been in the ground about a week. Uh, so that's a good sign. All I've got six along this row and then I've got four more over there, but the last one is no good. I'm going to rip that up. I've really got to fix that ground. I started there and up by, again, I ran out of time like I do with everything else. So I just dug up really quick to put them the uh the uh vines in the ground and so i gotta get through and clean it up and then like i said water everything down good uh i've already seen a few buds over there on those ones as well so that's all gonna get cleaned up that apple tree is gonna come down this this uh pear tree will eventually come down probably not this year because i don't need it to and then we'll go from there so we'll go ahead and uh we'll get the peat moss worked in we'll wet everything down really good and then we'll do a ph test Let's see what happens. Okay, so we went through and we uh, we worked in an entire bale of that uh, peat moss, sphagnum peat moss, in between these three rows. The third row over there still need to do a lot of work, uh, but uh, the second, the second, and the first row, those ones are looking pretty good. Uh, worked in a bunch of it, put in another row of uh, another dose of peat, peat moss, worked that in, and so everything is looking pretty good. And now I've gone through instead of watering them, uh, I gotta get my irrigation system going. And I'm just doing a gravity fed pump and just dumping it into the, uh, a gallon or two into each of the, in, in each of the uh, grow tubes. So uh, we'll get the ground all nice and wet and then we'll do a, a, a pH test. So I have not tested this since, um, since I put the uh, soil acidifier in. So I'm using rapid test digital three-way analyzer. I've got it set to pH. And again, I'm looking for a pH of uh, preferably down below six, but uh, we'll see what we got. This ground here is pretty wet right now. So, so right now it says seven, 6.7, 6.5. Looks like that's about all I'm gonna get is 6.5 in this spot. So we'll, uh, we'll test it in a couple other spots here just to see, but uh, so like I said, I'm trying to get it down to uh, six or below. So let's try a couple other spots. Uh, this here, we've got pretty wet down in here, so let's go down in here. Let's 
explore. Yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. So, like I said, uh, when we started, we was up around six, eight. We put the soil acidifier. We just put the peat moss in, so it's gonna take some time, I think. So let's uh, cook this next one. This one here, we got water running everywhere. Oof, geez, I guess we got to pack it down a little bit. Well, we got water down in there. Water built up. Yeah, so we're looking at six four six five. So we'll keep a uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep testing it, and uh, hopefully by the end of the year we'll uh, we'll get it where we want it. So that's where we're at with the uh, the Itasca grapes. Uh, pretty happy with the, how these are turning out so far this year. And uh, as for the beehives, I'm I keep going back and forth on what I'm going to do or not do. So. Um, initially I wasn't going to try to rebuild that I was to an extent and, and now I'm just not certain uh, I've just got so much on my plate that uh, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have a repeat of last year where I'm just not gonna have time to do things the right way and uh, so I uh, I may uh, go ahead and donate my bees to uh, what little bit what the two hives I've got now is a uh, to uh, you know a local bee club that might have a new member that's looking for bees or something like that and then uh, I'll, I'll keep all my hardware, of course, or, you know, what I don't give to whoever. And then uh, maybe maybe we'll re readdress it next year. And uh, in the meantime, I'll just focus on uh, the grapevines and uh, trying to get a few other things, you know, straightened out in my life. Not straightened out, but uh, uh, completed. I, I've got a lot of good things going on. And the uh, problem is too many things. And I've, I've got to start prioritizing. So uh, it's it's... It, it's it's disappointing in a way because it's been something I've enjoyed for the last seven eight years, but uh, at the same time, if you can't do it right, um, you know it's not fair to it's not fair to me and it's not fair to the bees. Uh, you know those bees probably deserve to be with someone that can take care of them, and uh, you know do do things the right way. And I and I know that I haven't been the last since last summer at least. So we'll we'll see. You know it's I've got a little bit of time and you know I got to reach out to to a local bee club and see if they get any new members and then get get these hives inspected by the state uh, APRs to, before they, they move on to someone else just to make sure they're clean and I'm not spreading anything I shouldn't be but uh, just to make sure you know state of Maine you have to you have to get them inspected before they change hands so uh, we'll, we'll do that part the right way and then we'll go from there but uh, but anyways the uh, like I said that's that's all we got for now for now uh, thanks for watching and uh, you know we'll see you next time